What's up guys, we're here with a review of Naruto Manga Chapter 588. I'm not disappointed with this chapter, but, you know, at the same time, I don't know what to make of it. Okay, let me start off, uh, what's going on? You know, okay, it starts off with Itachi and Sasuke. They're talking, you know, Itachi's like, well, I'm going to end this jutsu, it's going to be it, all the edda's going to be gone. Sasuke says, brother, if you do that, you're going too. I love you, I want you to leave me. Touch is like, well, you know, I'm pretty much done here, man. I'm tired. I get hip up Konoha again, you know, it, this is this is it, you know. I get to do what I want to do. I have no more emotional attachment to this world anymore. And I'm pretty sure that pissed off Sasuke a little bit, you know. And then Sasuke's like all fucking emo rage, you know, just yelling at him and shit, you know. Why the fuck you do this shit again anyways, you know? You you should have saved Konoha and it's just, you know, it's to be expected of Sasuke. I mean, come on. I don't I don't blame him either. I mean, come the fuck on. You know, Atachi made Sasuke who he is. Even Sasuke himself said that. And, you know, I, I've, I've had about enough of Atachi. It, it, it's just, you know, I'm hoping Sasuke just a fucking next chapter cuts him in half and, and uses some kind of new jutsu or something. Seals him or something. I don't know. Kills Kabuto. Just fucking goes on a goddamn rampage, you know. Like... Like Kishimoto did say a couple of chapters ago. Kishimoto, well, not a couple of chapters, more like fucking damn 20 or something. I, I don't know. Well, anyways, it appeared with Sasuke. Carnage has appeared on the battlefield. And you know what? This is, I, I'm fucking ready for Carnage right now. I'm, I'm, I'm really. I, I'm really. I'm really fed up with this shit. Okay, after it's all done, Touch is like, well, you know what? Fuck this. I'm out of here. You know. Kamato, I'm using a Genjutsu on you, show me how to stop the Tensei, and he's using a Genjutsu on him. He opened his eyes up and stuff, you know, looking at him with his fucking only eye he's got left, you know, because Owen was blind, and it does this fuzzy panel effect, and then it goes back to, well, meanwhile, while this bullshit is going on, well, which is absolutely nothing going on, it's the five Kage's fighting Madeira again. Well, actually, not really fighting, it's more like getting their asses kicked. You got bitches getting punched. You know, uh, Gar trying to save me, and, and, and then you got the raw Kage bitching out Hokage because she's not going enough job. She's like, well, fuck you, man. You know, I'm doing the best job I can. I'm, I'm fucking hurt over here. Have you fucking been in a pale fucking 30-something times? No, you haven't. I've been hit by fucking Amaratsu, fucking swords and pikes or something, you know. And, you know, Sonata's doing a damn good job. I mean... This bitch is, 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 is about fucking, what, 80 years old or something? You know, well, she's like 40 or something. But if, if you take into effect her, the juices she's currently using right now, there's no telling how actually old her body really is and, and how much decrepit or, or you know, it, it just, she's hanging in there. And then she gets, I guess she's falling on the ground. She's, you know, she's she's reaching her limit, basically. Then her car is like, Sonata, no! And he turns around and says, like, oh, fuck, it's again juicy time. There's Madeira over there putting down Rock Hog in again Jutsu. Rock Hog's like, well, man, this is bullshit. It's like, oh no. And, and and then he's about to get his ass whooped. There's like all these suits and all swords coming up out of the air. And and then the Tushu Kage, or Oniki, saves the Rock Hog. He makes his big ass rock fist. I guess he surrounds the Rock Hog or something. Yeah, it surrounds the Rock Hog and. It, it stops the Susano from being able to hurt Rakage, and then he kind of like says like release on Rakage to you know undo the Genjutsu that Madeira put place on Rakage. He's like, okay, man, you're good to go. Start fighting some more. Then after B just saves Rakage's butt, he gives the whole all five Kages, well, all the other four Kages, including himself, a little pep talk saying, we are the five Kages. We can't let ourselves be defeated by him. It, what would everybody think of us if we can't beat the Madeira, man? We gotta band together and just beat them and stuff, man. All right, and then Madeira's like, ah, oh, you guys are useless, and ah, uh, I need to kill this old man because if I don't kill this old man, then I'm gonna have some trouble killing all, everybody else because it seems to be, he's the problem. And then all the five Kage's, without saying a single word to each other, they have to have some kind of psychic mind thing going on, just kind of like band together, start using all these techniques on them. Like, for example, the old man Anuki, he uses that, that atomic uh, dust technique. Yeah, it's it huge as hell. It's, it's 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 huge as hell. I mean, it's the biggest one ever. Yeah, and then like it just uh, dissipates all the other wood clone jutsu techniques and just like 
the dare is like crap. My, I'm let my Susan know go. I can't. I can't really uh, absorb this technique right now. So then it's like his arm is blown off, and then you know he's an uh, so it regenerates. And then uh, that what that other Kage May Terumi, yeah, the, yeah, the uh, Mizukage, yeah, yeah, her she like uses this uh, water style dragon thing, and it attacks Madeira. Then it actually has what has actually has sand in it. So he's like, oh. Wow, sand is in this water? Yeah, so basically, Madeira's fucked. I mean, he, he can't get rid of, you know, he can't get rid of the sand, because he uses lightning on the sand. It's going to affect the water or something. That's what Mace is basically saying. Hey, Madeira's pretty fucked right now, but, and he's like, that's it, you know? We, we won, yeah! Yeah! Fucking over, yeah! We managed to beat Madeira fucking before Tachi stopped it! And like, but it's like, well, you know, I actually got another Susano, guys. I'm like, about like, what? what? And, and then you see this big ass Susano, you know. It's like some kind of, I don't know, some kind of big ass altar or some shit with a big ass. I, I want to say I've seen a Yu Gi Oh card before. One guy was saying all of us are tormented on Naruto based forms. Yes. I, yes. Somewhat, maybe, but I don't, it's some other card. I, I, I honestly can't remember. It's, I guess a fucking big ass sword. I, I don't know. But. It's just huge as hell. I mean, Susano is huge. It's called the perfect Susano. It's, it's like as big as the, as big as like a skyscraper, and the thing is like, it, it, it's, he has his Rinnegan in it, so he's like, oh, maybe there's some kind of Rinnegan qualities in it. I'm not sure what the way through the next chapter. Hmm. So yeah, basically it shows you that maybe this Susano actually requires you to have the Rinnegan also. Maybe it's not Madeira with just the EMS. Maybe they actually had, they maybe there's three top sisters of those. The regular one, you know, the bone and stuff, and you have the other one like armor on. Then you actually have now the third one that probably uses a running gun, I'm guessing. Maybe, I don't know. But, you know, and that's that's pretty much it where it ends. Now, this chapter, um, I'm not really disappointed, but at the same time, I'm not really through it. I don't really know what to make of it. It just seems so off. Okay. This got me more to Itachi and Sasuke. I mean, it just seems... What's Sasuke gonna do from there? Just walk away and that's fucking it, you know? He, somebody's gonna kill Kabuto. I mean, Sasuke's got... I mean, what's gonna stop Kabuto from not being a bad person? Is, is this... You know, this is a Nami. All that can make you a good guy or just change your mind forever. What could Kabuto say? You know what? I, I admit that I, I'm not perfect. And you know what? I'm gonna do my best damn job to try to be as perfect as I can be and continue the same fucking route I've been doing, absorbing more people and shit. You know, why, what is the fucking college from doing that and, and, and still being a villain? So I honestly don't know how that goes down to it. I mean, is Madeira gonna be gone away if the Jutsu gets in? A lot of people have said about the move summoning. You know, Moose summoned uh, Madeira, but it was actually Kabuto summoning Madeira through Moo. And will that work? Will it not? But for me, I say I probably give it a four out of five. And I, I like the action in it. I knew what was it sort of met my expectations because I sort of predicted all this stuff to happen. Of course, everybody's gonna predict. Uh, yeah, some things. The Edo Tensei thing about the Madeira. No, no, not Madeira. Itachi trying to stop it and stuff because he did say he's gonna stop it in the last chapter. And then you know they're going to like start showing some more other different fight scenes. What else can they really possibly do with Itachi and Kabuto except for showing uh, Kabuto being trapped in this Tiski Yomi? He's like, oh my god, crap's happening here. I mean, Azanami, I'm in this crap too. Oh. And But it was, it didn't have, met my expectations, but it wasn't a great chat. It was okay to me. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was okay. A lot of people are over exaggerating Madeira right now. They, uh, for some reason, people do not understand the. The fucking difference between Edu Madeira and regular Madeira. It was a good chapter, but it is, uh, something just feels off. I, I, I feel there's more questions to be answered. I don't think it's over Tachi and Sasuke. And I hope that the Edo isn't gone. Madeira, to be honest, I kind of want to see this final form does. I'm going to laugh my ass off, though. If Madeira is gone in the fucking next chapter because the Edo Tensei Jutsu is cancelled. I'm gonna laugh my fucking ass off I'm like Kiki, you dirty, dirty motherfucker. You, you trolled us again. But see you guys later. Uh, like and comment, you know, below and subscribe also. Help us out, you know. 
let us know how good or how bad we did in this chapter. And if you have any views or anything that you, uh, your version, what you believe, so let us know and post below. See you guys later.